introduce Jamie. Check. <laughs> Check. <laughs> yeah, we're Frontier Ruckus. I'm Matthew. I'm Ryan. I'm Davey. And I'm Zach. We uh, originated in the suburban Detroit area, most of us. Small, Kalamazoo. Smalls is from Kalamazoo. But a lot of our work is thematically bound to that locality and the memory contained therein. We're in Cleveland currently at our favorite time of day, the dusk time, at one of our favorite venues, Beachland Ballroom. And we're excited for tonight's show. We're playing a lot of uh, songs off our forthcoming double album of 20 songs. The album's called Eternity of Dimming. It'll be out early next year. Uh, the process, we recorded it this winter in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, it was kind of a unique time in that it was our first time off the road after like a uh, hardcore uh, period of two, two years pretty much on the road supporting our previous album, Dead Malls and Night Falls. And we hunkered down in the winter time and we had a lot of songs. We just had an overabundance of material dealing with an overabundance of 90s memories and nostalgia. So it's a very specific record of a lot of, of catalogs and lists of obsolescence and technological objects of weighty clunkiness as a metaphor for memory and its weighty abundance. <laughs> like say about that. <laughs> well, we, uh, sonically, though, we tried one of my comrades can talk about that. We tried to incorporate uh, the idea of you know old memories, I guess, uh, with with sound as well. There's some uh, fidelities from a tape recorder that blend with the high fidelity parts. Some camcorder. We recorded with an old camcorder in that found. <laughs> a lot of keyboards from the 90s and 80s. Tape rewinding, speeding. Remote controls, VHS stuff. Disposable camera flashes. It's, it sounds like a Frontier Ruckus record, but in my opinion, better and different and more diverse. There's so many different moods and atmospheres in the record. Each song is like a house of many rooms, kind of. It's like a big mansion of many rooms. <laughs> Memory. Yeah, the songs um, generate usually lyrics. I mean, I'm all, yeah, I write everything separately. Like, the lyrics are always compiling. I'm always compiling language and turns of phrase or rhymes or quirky little scenes that I'd like to fit into a song. And then the music is just a vehicle for me to get that indulgence in there. Because there's a lot of things with language. It's pretty much games with language I'd like to play. And the, stuff, the songs themselves are just, a, for me, a vehicle to do that. And that's uh, where it is when I take it to the band and then they make it something that is more than just a vehicle for my indulgence and it becomes a very beautiful landscape. Oh, and then we record the songs. <laughs> and that we try to do as much live as possible. Um, in the past, we've done everything very live, and uh, we're getting more, more, more less than that technique, I guess. We've been layering a lot of stuff lately, but still, the skeleton track is usually just Smalls and I playing uh, in different rooms, but looking at each other, guitar and drums and bass, typically too, because that's pretty easy. And there's a lot of live banjo as well. And, and then, that's my thing. That's, my that's Dave's favorite thing. He prefers my vocal takes where it's the live, the actual live uh, skeleton tracks. And sometimes I do, but sometimes I'm too obsessive to let them slide. And then Zach goes to town on them afterwards with all sorts of textures. It's like a golden retriever at some point. I don't know, I think, I mean, musically, just to get. We all think, uh, we all really care about our music immensely and we think it's kind of special. I mean, it's obviously special to us, but we want to make it. We just want more people to hear it. We want um, to continue what we're doing and to keep expanding on it. It's like a privilege to be able to create things for your main occupation and we just want to get better at it and put more and more music out. I mean, for me personally, you yeah. guys? We'll put out records more and more frequently. Yeah, just like a huge abundance of Instead of putting out a, a record such as this one, it's an hour and a half long, 20, it's like just an outrageous catharsis. It's, it's an outrageous urination after an extremely long car ride. So it feels really good. Yeah. Right, do you guys have anything else you want to add? Thank you for uh, documenting us here in Cleveland on this dusty evening. It's nice to have. I, I cherish things like this to look back on the YouTube years from now. If YouTube is still in existence and it's just a dusty arch archive somewhere.
I don't know. Do you think we'll be watching this when we're 70 years old? I hope YouTube is still accessible oh, because. <laughs> Hopefully, future me, you're watching this at 70 years old, and it's probably called something else. You really want to go? It's trip. probably called Frenchy Ruckus Tube because we are the corporate sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to go? Yeah, or a cocker spaniel to replace the mascot of my childhood. But I've had a, I had a I had a golden retriever first. So I used to ride like a horse as a kid. Uh, yeah, this record you should check it out, guys. When you hear it, uh, 2013, early, early 2013. There's lots of references to putt putt golf courses and childhood dogs that we should have passed and copy machines and a world of obsolescence basically, but in a beautiful depiction of sorrow. I hate selling this record. I mean, you just did it's it. gonna make you sad. <laughs> My mother's reference way too much in the record. There's a white limousine with Massachusetts plates And on the loose it's occupants of those 90s prom dates Modern dilettantes, they type out their privilegisms and their moronic fonts and their life out syllogisms. With some get well cards from my date stamp and yet frame all that minor fame, but I just can't. When my best friend Doug's brother had some flashy two seater, a sleepover soda, we explode a splashy two liter. Stop lights are cherry red or very greenish blue Like the mushy color the seven eleven slushy give Outside of the 
Pressing on the night, you wanted to part I said, I guess it was